Hi everyone and welcome back to Vault 713. We have a huge shopping haul from Curiosa. Hi there witches, wizards, and muggles alike. This is part two of our visit to Curiosa. Well, we'll show you some of the items we got at this magical shop. Curiosa is located in downtown Toronto, and we paid a visit there on Thanksgiving, in the, the Canadian holiday, to see what we could find. And boy, we were not disappointed. If you haven't watched our tour of Curiosa video, that was the last one we did, you should go back and watch it. This is a truly magical place to visit. Okay, what did we get there? Oh, wow, well, we have some real good goodies here. Let's start off with uh, a nice little beanie cap. Look at this. It's from the Makusa in Fantastic Beasts. It's got a nice little, little tassel. It's got all these beautiful icons on it. We'll put a close-up of it over there on the left side of the screen for you. Look at that. Nice little winter beanie. Fantastic. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we found this book, and we're very excited about it. It's actually the Advanced Potion Making Book. No, it's not. It's, it's just a journal. But it's a beautiful journal. It's got this nice silver edge on it, and it opens up, and you can write all your nice personal Harry Potter thoughts in there. But that's a beautiful looking book, and a beautiful display item for my collection. Just lovely. I really love that. That's fantastic. Okay, what else? What would, we found another book there. Again, it's just a journal, but it's beautiful. Look at this. Hogwarts, a history. You can read all about Hogwarts in this. Well, no, no, sorry, it's just a journal again. This one has some gold leaf on it. And again, a lovely little journal. But just the book cover itself is fantastic. So we're really excited about that find. Hogwarts, a history. Okay, put that back in the bag for now. Of course, everyone knows, I think, that you can get these postcard sets. And this is a postcard set from Hogwarts, where you never tickle a sleeping dragon, of course. If we open this up, we have some postcards in here. And we'll, again, we'll put them up so you can see them more clearly. You know, we've got a Defense Against the Dark Arts postcard some notebooks from the students here beautiful notebook cards fantastic beasts and where to find them Gilderoy Lockhart travels with trolls we've got Harry Potter's uh, letter acceptance letter that's kind of cool the Marauders map on one of these postcards the Yule Ball which is very nice so this is a really nice collection of postcards. The back of the postcard is very nice too. Really nice. I guess they're all owl post. The other one we picked up there was a set of the advanced potion making postcards. And these are book covers. We have the advanced potion making. We have a history of magic. Defense against the dark arts. A rune dictionary. That's kind of cool. Mudbloods and how to spot them. A grammatica. Interesting. Magical hieroglyphs and logograms. Wow, that's interesting. When muggles attack. Defense against the dark arts for beginners. Magical water plants of the Mediterranean. Wow, that's a specific book. There's Gilderoy Lockhart again. 
Oh, here's Rita Skeeter's book on Albus Dumbledore. The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. He's got some secrets. Unfogging the Future. Divination. Well, volume 5. Hogwarts of History again. Secrets of the Darkest Arts. Fantastic Beasts. Triwizard Tragedies. That sounds like it's a sad one. Wow. Advanced Potion Making. Edition 4. The Tales of Beetle the Bard. Oh. Gilderoy Lockhart's Guide to Household Pests. And that was 20 of them. 29 beautiful 20 postcards. Great for display purposes. Now we were also lucky enough when we were there to find a whole set of Mina Lima prints. And we couldn't buy them all, even though we wanted to, but here's one of Hogwarts. It's a beautiful one. It's got a lot of green in it, so you can't really see it too clearly when I hold it up. But we're gonna put up a little slideshow of these prints right at the end of the video, so you can have a look at them. They are really fantastic Mina Lima prints. Now, the item that I really debated about buying, but I just couldn't resist. It's a bit expensive, but it's a beautiful book. And for a collector, it's one of those things that, you know, are you ever going to see it again? Um, I could probably get it online. I've never seen it online. It's probably available if I looked for it, but I didn't know it existed. So I, 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 didn't, I wouldn't have known what to even look for. I would have found it purely by chance if I ever found it. So I'm really excited to present to you this, this book. This book, it's a bit big and heavy, but here it is. It is the pop-up book to Diagon Alley. The pop-up book to Diagon Alley. Isn't that fantastic? Now, I can open it up a little bit here on camera, but it's very hard to see what's going on. You see, look at that. Diagon Alley pops up. And we've got... What's that? Morgan and Burks. Morgan and Burks pops out. Addis. And gotta be careful with these pages. What's this one? Oh, the Hogwarts Express pops out. And the one I really like a lot is the, the Ministry of Magic. If I can get that to... Pop out correctly. There you go. The Ministry of Magic. Now, I'll put some photographs of what we see here on the on the screen for you. But this book is just amazing to look through. I'm watching it in a video, I don't think we'll do it justice. If you ever see this in the store, have a look at it. It is amazing. It's got a nice picture of Ollivander on the back. And I'm just going to read the insert that comes with it. There's an insert we got. And we've got Harry Potter, a pop-up guide to Diagon Alley and beyond by Matthew Reinhardt, illustrated by Kevin M. Wilson, text by Jody Revinson. So this is the companion, it says, to the award-winning Harry Potter, a pop-up guide to Hogwarts. I also saw that. But I was more tempted to get this one. Experience the magic of the Wizarding World's Diagon Alley with this pop-up masterpiece from New York Times best-selling paper engineer Matthew Reinhardt. We can explore Diagon Alley. We have pop-ups of Ollivanders, Weasleys, Leaky Cauldron, Ministry of Magic, Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Command the action. Hidden pops spring into action with the pull of a tab. 
help Harry escape Nocturne Alley, explore the vaults beneath Gringotts, rescue a Ukrainian iron belly dragon, and more. Play and display. Wow. Experience the book page by page or unfold it to create a jaw-dropping four-foot-long 3D model of Diagon Alley and beyond. Did that just say a four-foot model of Diagon Alley? Wow. Also includes over a dozen paper characters to place in each scene. Packed with amazing moments and hidden surprises, this landmark pop-up book is the perfect addition to any Harry Potter fan's collection. That would be me, a Harry Potter fan who has a collection. So there you have it. That is our visit to Curiosa. I hope you enjoyed the items. We're extremely thrilled. We're going to be displaying them in our collection, so you may be able to notice them when you start seeing some of the full collection that I have on display. And that's going to be coming up in some future videos. I hope you get a chance to visit some magical stores. If you can ever visit Curiosa in Toronto, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic place to visit. It's wonderful. It's got all kinds of great scenery and ambiance in it. You've got self-stirring cauldrons. You've got all kinds of magical potion bottles. There's a jewelry section if you're really interested in Harry Potter jewelry. It's really a, a magical, truly a magical place to visit. So I hope you enjoyed that video of Curiosa. Uh, I'd like to go back again. I'll try to go back again, maybe Christmas time, see what we can see what we can see there. But until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.